Ukraine is not feeling much of the effect of Ernesto as of right now. But could that change, Scott? Well, as we go through this week, we should expect to see some uh, drier conditions as we go forward. Certainly, you were drenched over the weekend, though, as we had a slow-moving area of low pressure. Wasn't raining all the time, but we did have round after round of rain and storms. As, as we focus in on Grand Rapids, you can see that as you approach Muskegon, Grand Haven, those areas seeing as much as about two to three inches of accumulation over the weekend. And then as you uh, move into eastern parts of Kent County, where you see those yellow notches on your screen, and again, some spots picking up more than two inches of rainfall. Muskegon officially receiving about an inch and three quarters of rain, nearly an inch and two thirds in Holland and 1.2 inches of rain in Kalamazoo, close to an inch in Battle Creek, 99 hundredths, 93 hundredths in Grand Rapids. So again, a pretty good soaking over the weekend. Through the first 14 days of the month of August, we received 85 hundredths of an inch of rain in Grand Rapids. We were able to top that in just the past four days with 93 hundredths of an inch of rainfall. It is going to be breezy out there, but pretty nice conditions on this Monday, a streak of sun shine and high temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. Some very nice overnight periods as well, as it looks like temperatures will sink down near 50 degrees for several consecutive nights. We'll also have a late week warming trend, which looks to bring our temperatures back into the upper 80s as we get into next week. You can see that the wind is flexing its muscles there as we check out conditions in Holland right now under those sunny skies along the lake shore. And as we look at our current conditions, the temperature is at 70 degrees. The dew point measured at 52, so a big departure in the humidity as the wind continues to stream in from the north at 13 miles per hour. Temperatures 60s and 70s across the board, 69 in Hastings, 71 as you approach I-94 in Kalamazoo. We have a temperature of 73 in Muskegon, 68 degrees right now in Big Rapids, and 70 in Mount Pleasant. Temperatures have only fallen by about 2 to 5 degrees to depending on your location out there. But uh, again, the big difference is that it's far less humid outside as we have those dew points in the upper 40s to mid 50s. And it's likely that those will fall even further courtesy of that wind from the north, which is sustained between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at our planner through this afternoon. A few inland clouds, otherwise expecting mostly sunny skies. Very pleasant conditions look to be with us today. Sunset happening at 837 tonight. Here's a look at our high temperatures expected for this afternoon, 77 mosquitoes and Whitehall, 75 in Stanton and Greenville. As we turn the page, looking further south toward Grand Rapids, a high of 76 is favored for Wayland today, and Grand Haven, a high temperature of 76 degrees also in Ionia, and further south, a high temperature today of 75 in Three Rivers, 76 Duajac, 77 Kalamazoo, and 73 in Coldwater. We'll have mostly clear skies for tonight as the temperature tumbles down to 52. Also make sure to take a glance upward as we are going to have the super moon shining bright in our skies tonight. Here's a look at the eight-day forecast. It shows that we'll have some more sunshine persist through this week with high temperatures each day in the mid to upper 70s and low temperatures at night close to 50. As we get into the weekend, we start to snag on to some more warmth. High temperatures advancing into the upper 80s, perhaps touching 90 degrees next Monday. That would be the first time since mid-June with a temperature in the 90s in Grand Rapids. Emily and Sue.